Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Welcome back everyone, this is case number 10 of RS series in radiology. Our case today is 55 year old male patient presented with chronic cough and SOB. So this is the frontal chest radiograph of skeletal mature male patient. So you can see few abnormalities. The lung volumes are reduced on both sides. You can see diaphragms are slightly elevated. Trachea is central and uh, trachea central lung volumes reduced and there are some reticular opacities yes reticular linear opacifications you can see predominantly in the mid and lower zones and peripheral predominance also seen so upper zones are relatively spared so they are reticular opacities there are no nodules you can't see any nodules only reticular opacities and no masses in the lungs no bronchogram no air fluid levels no calcifications or no obvious cavitations few honeycombing areas also seen subtle honeycombing and uh, no cardiomegaly, no mediastinal masses and you can't see any obvious bone pathologies and also no rural effusion, no, no pneumothorax. So in this case, uh, diagnosis is interstitial lung disease. So for interstitial lung disease, uh, differential diagnosis uh, uh, actually for this pattern basal reticulation and peripheral predominance uip usual interstitial pneumonitis or pneumonia so one differential diagnosis and uh, other one is uh, fibrotic nsip so those are a few differential diagnosis for interstitial lung disease for reticulation in mid and lower zones with peripheral predominance so so interstitial lung disease the sometimes the initial x-rays can be normal so the fibrotic changes develop later and there's reduction in lung volumes and patient develops SOB then you have to do other investigations after chest x-ray that that go standard uh, radiological investigation is HRCT chest with the inspiration and expiration. So there are several interstitial lung disease patterns and uh, you have to consider those things also. So it's a uh, there are broad spectrum diseases in interstitial lung diseases. So that concludes case number 10 of RS series. So please subscribe our YouTube channel then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.